Hi everyone, welcome to my haven, my backyard right now during our quarantine. But um, I have decided to put together a, a series of videos just talking about real estate, mortgage, and anything in between just to keep us informed, you know, during COVID. Um, what are the changes or what have you? And I'll bring in some experts as well um, just to uh, chime in, you know, their opinion. Uh, today, I want to thank Brian Bernaza from Wells Fargo for giving us his uh, opinion on is it the best time to buy right now? All right, let's hear it from Ryan. Yeah. So do you think on the mortgage perspective, do you think it is the right time to buy right now? I mean, personally, I, you know, when it comes to just the dollars and cents of it, it absolutely is. I mean, we've never seen rates this low. And, you know, like you and I had been talking about before, there was a point there where rates had gone up over the last couple months and it started really squeeze, right? But over the last, you know, couple of weeks, because you've got the Fed in there injecting money into the system, the rates have finally come back down. You know, we started to see our VA customers get rates well under 3%. And that's, I, I haven't seen that ever. I mean, and so, I just slapped a VA at 2.75. Yeah, so I mean, you think about that, that's a once in a lifetime. You think about a 30 year loan Crazy. at that rate, you're saving so much money over the term of the loan. So I, I think absolutely from how much your payment costs you, I, I've never seen a better time, you know, and it's exciting in that regard. Yeah, if interest rate has been like up, down, up, down over the last few weeks, you know that. Yeah. You know, we've seen it. So, so I was just thinking if you look at it in a different perspective, if, hey, if the, the price go down 6%, but then the interest rate went up 1%, you're actually paying more on your monthly six months from now if you qualify for a lesser home price. <laughs> Well, you're, you're spot on. And I think people that wait, you can wait forever. I mean, at some point, there's always a reason. But at the same time, I agree with you, you still have the fundamental lack of supply of homes relative to the amount of people that need them. And as long as that's the case, and we're so severely undersupplied that it would take 10 years of building homes at a clip we're not building homes at to equalize that. To me, I look more at that. So to your point, any shock to the system might have a temporary, you know, dip, but until fundamentally the supply problem changes, housing prices aren't going to shift significantly one way or another. The thing is, like you said, the inventory is so low. On a healthy market, really, just to give everybody a perspective, you should have at least four to six months of inventory. And for the last, I would say at least eight years, San Diego has been playing between one to two months of inventory. I mean, that's really low. If nobody sells in the next month, we're dead. We have no <laughs> houses you know, on the market. So right. the, the value is not going to go down because, like you said, the demand is still, still there. There's more buyers than homes on the market. Right. It, it, this is not a financial crisis. It's an economic crisis. Right. Unlike 2008, right, right? where people are defaulting because they really don't have equity in their homes. Because right. They were in neg arm. Uh, okay, for other people, what neg arm is, I'm sure they know that because they've signed the documents, you know, before, is they have the negative amortization. Instead of paying down their principal, they're adding more to their principal. So yeah, yeah, and a quick, you make a great point. I just want to add in there. This, the borrowers right now that have loan balances are more qualified than they ever have been. I look at Wells Fargo's default rate. It's the lowest in the history of the bank. So to your point, We've had prudent lending guidelines for the last 10 years. We have not loosened those up. So the people that own homes are well qualified and their ability to, pay, be, you know, to repay is well documented. So that risk is not there. One other thing that I'll tell you about San Diego that I have seen that I think will be a boost to the real estate market is look at our biotech presence. That you're going to see an explosion of jobs off of this whole crisis. So, you know, the silver lining is that the employment market here will remain very strong. So the affordability factor, more people will be 
being paid to live here. And I, I think that will bode well and actually maybe long term look, you know, drive prices upward. So back into the is, yeah. you know, a good time now. I, I think it is for that reason as well. Well, we have two major industry here that's really keeping, you know, uh, San Diego alive, our military and right. our biotech. You know, right. those are, now we can say recession proof with what's happening, you know what I mean? And our, and our medical industry is very strong as well. So right. that's really a good thing for us. But. All right, there you go. That is our first video. So hope you find this helpful. And if you or anybody that you know can benefit from this, please do share. Stay and tuned for our next video. You don't want to miss this one because we all know our military servicemen get 100% financing through VA loans. But there is a, another program that can help our healthcare workers up to 100% financing. So I'm excited about this. So on the next episode, that's what we're going to talk about. So make sure to like our page here on Facebook and Instagram. And I will see you on the next episode. Alrighty. Stay home and stay safe. Bye.